Okay, I'm thinking I have to keep progressing, actually. I think I have to sneak past it at this point. Well, I heard it on my left. All right, the suspense is killing me. Oh no. I heard a footstep then. Shit, he's right there. Why won't you leave? He's gonna stay there, isn't he? Until I do something. You blind bastard. Go on. Ah, ah, ah. Ah! Have it! Ah! You fucking asshole! <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, you... God, you fucking... Oh, I'm sorry for swearing, I really am. That scared the absolute shit out of me. Oh... I thought it came from behind the door. I really did. And then I screamed. I actually screamed. <laughs> Alright, come on, Hildegain. Get on with it this time. Yeah, I just want to chill out for a second. Just for a brief moment, get my bearings together. I've got to rush through this. So, yeah. Oh, wait, he didn't even follow me. He didn't even follow me that time, and I was ready for him. I see light at the end. There is never any escape. Things like this will live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show up down the road or even at his home, or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? Ah. Oh. I feel much safer.
I know I'm going to regret saying that because I think something bad's going to happen to me. Chill out, Hildy. I have a bad feeling about those stairs, actually. Why is it my bad feelings are almost always right? Well, I say almost always, guys. After all, I'm not psychic, really. Don't really believe in that kind of stuff, guys. Ah, oh, what the hell? Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No, I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes. Soon. I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Will it be worth living? Of course not. All right, Grippy. Oh, hell. Just take a look at that. Okay. Where? Please. You said... Pull the switch next to you. Help me. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who are you? Daniel? I'm Daniel. Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Are you among the lion's den? Oh, tell me about it. Stop, Alexander. I do. Oh my! So Babylon shall follow you, sir. No. <laughs> you worry too much. Alexander is toothless without a horn. Yes. That's that's not very promising. Oh, the sector is basically penetrable, but I guess it's my own. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Then if you tell the truth by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken oar and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically lead madness, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transept. You should be able to find them there. All right. Have the impression that you're a bit of a weirdo, Agrippa. I hate to bother you first, but if yeah. you're really going after Alexander, 
Would you consider taking me with you? No. I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Weil, would you please bring it to me? I believe he is working on a way to help me. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Um... Alright, I guess. Before all that, though. I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippi. This one's quite important to you. I know. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Yeah, well, I was busy. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways. But he has grown impatient. All right. Makes sense, I suppose. In any case, guys, I thank you for watching. I'm going to sign out now because it's getting a bit late. I've given you 24 minutes of amnesia session. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I only screamed once in this entire Let's Play. It's great. That's actually the only time I've ever screamed in a video game. So, yeah, it's, there's a first time for almost everything. See you next time, guys.